Hey guys, welcome to another video of Gaming in Linux. Today I will be showing you a game which I recently made a tutorial on how to install it, uh, which is called World of Warcraft. The the game is uh, apparently well, um, one of the most popular games, most populist games on the PC, as it has over millions of users uh, playing it. Now I traded in a lot of games for this just one this well two games, Burning Crusade and the World of Warcraft. And it cost about forty pounds. Um I got this from Game Station, uh, I got the battle chest. And well I started off playing it and about ten hours into the game I just gave up and I've left it ever since with my cool character called Beefy Boner. <laughs> Uh, so like a few months on, this is about 8 months on actually, 10 months or something, uh, I decided because, well I make Linux games, that uh, Linux gaming videos, that I may as well make a tutorial on how to install it and the game actually running. So, I've got everything on high, um, apart from triple buffering, which in my previous video I mentioned not to use. I'll just let Quest help, Quest help a load as it lags it a bit. Um, apparently triple buffering makes uh, a lot of graphical glitches on your screen which you obviously do not want. Um, so yeah everything else works apart from triple buffering. I haven't exactly tried it, I've just read on that it does not work. I haven't had a fight in a while. I'm level 7. Everything works fine online and stuff. Um, I've got add ons work. That's exactly what I have on. I have um, bartender, bartender add on and the quest helper add on. There's a lot of enemies around here. It's not exactly hard, but. Got all my buttons. <laughs> um, for gamers who like a good um, um massive multiplayer online multiplayer game, I definitely I definitely recommend this. Even if people say it's nerdish and stuff, which my girlfriend says. <laughs> But, uh, uh, what's going? I don't exactly play this game. I've just pretty much installed it to do what I said before, which is make videos of it. And as you can see, it runs great. I don't even know where I'm going, actually. Where am I going? Um, so... To run this game, you obviously need to have a good internet connection since you will be online pretty much all the time on the game. And throughout the game, you'll see and meet many pe many people at the same level as you, at higher levels than you. Um, pretty much, yeah. There'll be lots of people around, and you can, if you want, you can check out all their armor and stuff. Uh, see what sort of weapons they've got and you can also make it so you try out their armor but not exactly on you I mean like it shows how their armor would look on you which is quite cool no I'm not gonna make it go oh <laughs> flipping thing I'm definitely not gonna make it now Shut up. Um, <coughs> I pretty much got this game because my friend uh, called CJ or Chris James recommend. Well, he didn't just recommend this game to me. I, he used to play it a lot when I was at his house, and I pretty much liked the look of the game. And he's helped me along with the game. He's gave me a couple of goals because he's a level 81 Death Knight. So he's 
from like the start, you uh, if you have golds, it's pretty much you're rich <laughs> for being at the start anyway. So um, I could buy s m myself some armor and stuff, which was helpful. Helps me get along. Uh, as you can see here, there's like people around. Uh, I don't think they're online. I think it's the pur purple ones which are online. I'm not too sure. Oh no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, if you go and spec, you can basically check out the character. And uh, I've completely forgot how to do. There you go. I don't know how to do this. Oh, uh, not a biggie. See, level 40, he was level 80. Basically, see a lot of people. Oh, and um, my friend also took me into a dungeon with another person and. Um, the, in the dungeon there was lots of elites and uh, basically he rounded them all up and because they were level 40 he could easily kill them and kill them all at once uh, which helped me basically go up to them, scavenge shit off them and <laughs> get loads of good stuff and if I didn't need it I could sell it for quite a price which was quite good uh, you have all your well, there's not a lot of quests there, but there's quests. Um, once you have the quest helper, it, which you pretty much need, otherwise you're screwed. Um, you can tr click track, and it shows you here your top ones, and usually is an arrow there, which helps you, will guide you to the thing. And bartender, what it does is you type in bartender. And it allows you to unlock your um, UI and move it around if you do not like the original one, which I didn't, to be honest. It's not brilliant. <coughs> uh, you can lock it back up again. And you can also get little pets, which I randomly got this through uh, some random guy. Oh, uh, what's that? Okay, sorry about that. Um, my girlfriend just rang me, so I had to pick it up. Uh, I forgot where I was. I was saying something like about this penguin. Yeah, I randomly had him in mail. Uh, so I opened it and was like, mm, cool, penguin. And I got an achievement for it. Which is strange. <laughs> so, yeah... What you pretty much need to know is how everything runs. Everything runs brilliant. It runs pretty much native. I have I haven't got everything on full because my computer is not brilliantly specced. So, uh, yeah, if you've got a high enough computer, good good enough computer, then you can basically run it. I haven't checked my backpack out yet. Basically, run it good. Unlike me. Yeah, I got that in a dungeon. I have a clue what that is. What's that? Ooh. It's got a random quest. Um, so, uh, the game, it goes into it quickly. I've already made a video on how to install it because people on Linux usually want to know how to do that. Uh, um, runs good, sounds run perfectly, there's no problems there, internet connections, no problems, uh, I think that's pretty much everything that you need to know, so, I'll just log out. Yeah, uh, people actually say that this game is really, really addictive, I don't actually believe that because I'm not really addicted to the game it's not addictive as people say oh well they're nerds <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching my video thank you for watching it and good night everybody